good morning. It's October 4th, 2019. I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop. Thanks for joining me this Friday morning. Um, I have so much stuff to show you. And um, I don't even know. Uh, well, I have a few, uh, sorry, member shout outs okay. real quick. Uh, last week, I apologized to Catherine Jolson because I missed you joining our membership during the live stream. So Confetti Cannon for Catherine. Welcome, welcome. And then we had two new members join uh, right before our live stream started. They are Jennifer Eanes. Welcome, Jennifer. And Jennifer actually had a really funny comment. She said, I am finally off on a Friday. And the best part is my husband's friend took him fishing. I can watch this undisturbed. Yes, Thought seriously, you don't need any comments, right? Anytime <laughs> I'm watching something, Kevin has his comments. I'm like, you're interrupting the flow. <laughs> And then uh, last member that joined here was Lisa Henderson, Confetti Cannon for Lisa. Thank you so much for joining. And you guys do have a um, con uh, Confetti Cannon. You guys have a free pattern in your community tab if you join as a member and a coupon, I believe. Um, and we did just get a super chat from Debbie Swoboda for $2. Um, we have something special for super chat today, guys. Are you ready? So when you super chat, instead of Confetti Cannon, this is what we're gonna do. Piggy! Super Piggy! <laughs> He's so cute. Super Just Piggy says thank piggy. you for so, your super chat. So Piggy's my little puppy. Okay. So the first thing today is we have the new cake mix book. It is published by Martingale and it has 16 quilts in it and it is meant to go with the cupcake mixes and the cake mixes. So on the cake mixes, they're by Moda and they're basically triangle paper on a pad. And they show you on the front what kind of blocks you can make. And these use layer cakes. So the cake mixes use layer cakes and the cupcake mixes use trim packs. There are, I believe eight to 12 cake mixes and four cupcake mixes. So it's basically similar to triangles on a roll, except you can make a block and they all make, oops, they all make different blocks. So on the front, it'll show you kind of what it makes, what size, and like this is what it looks like. So it's kind of a mix of inside, you don't get one size triangle, you get multiple. And so we have this brand new book by Martin Gill. It actually came out this week. And so with the book, you would need fabric and then a pad of paper but i'm going to show you all the quilts we have this 20 percent off if you use the coupon code mix20 mix20 so i'm going to show you the quilts from the book and there are 16 quilts in here just so you know there's 16 quilts the first quilt is by betsy chuchin I'm gonna turn it around. It is called Step It Up. It uses the cake mix recipe number eight and it finishes at 36 by 42. And I'm gonna show you the back. She put a really beautiful red and white. And so, oh, and then you can see her little label. Look at that. It says Betsy Chuchin. Wait, right there. So it's a little label that she sewed on top and it has a little red on the top so it totally matches. I don't know how she made that. It seems like a twill tape. I'm not sure how she did that. Super awesome. So this is one of the quilts. The next one is called Picnic. And I'm gonna put some of these sideways so it's easier for you to see. Picnic by Lori Simpson and it uses two Cupcake mix four packs. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. This one finishes at 51 inches square and the blocks are six inches. And on her back, look at this guys. So this, she also has a label. It is a piece of leather and it has with Aura Floss she sewed it in and it says Lori Simpson. Can you see it? Super, super cute. So they've got some, we gotta figure out where we can get this made because I need some of these. Y'all figure that out so I can buy it. So pretty and it's on point. I'm always scared of on point. 
The next one is by one of your favorite designers, Corey Yoder. It is called Candied Cotton and it uses a cake mix pad tin and you only need one pad. And I'm just going to rotate it. I love the quilting on this. It's really nice and small. I like small quilting. This one is 54 by 63 and the blocks are 9 inches. And on the back, she has a, new, a newsprint. It looks like a Zen Chic print, maybe. Tiny newsprint. And you can see that, look at that quilting. So pretty. So that's another quilt. These are so pretty. And of course, each of these designers has used fabric from their collections. So all mode of fabric. This one is rather big. It's my very favorite from the entire book. It is called Quilter's Confetti by Christine Zipperick, and it uses two cake mix eights. And I love this fabric. And I'm gonna show you um, the backing also, and you can really see the quilting on this one also. This one is 64 by 72, and it has eight inch blocks. And the quilting on the back, you can really see it. If you zoom in, Lily, you'll be able to see the, it's a, um, what is that called? Um, orange peel. Orange peel. Oh. And it's really small and cute. So that is that one. This one is awesome. I totally gotta make this. Of course, I would pick the hardest one in the book, probably. It's so pretty. This one is by Bridget Heitland. All My Teas, Cake Mix 2, and you just need one pack. She is the designer of Zen, you know, the Zen Chic designer. She is from Germany. And this one, let's see. This one is 61 inches square. And then this is the backing. And this is one of the Zen Chic fabrics. It's, I think it's one of the modern background prints. And you can really see that quilting also. All the quilting on all of these quilts is amazing. So whoever did the quilting did a great job. And then we have one more to show. Now the book has 16. And we have some of them. Okay, this one is Bubble and Froth by Carrie Nelson. It uses one pack of the Cake Mix 4s. And this binding right here, we have a video on how you do it on our channel. We can link it below. It's, it's basically a very wide binding, and Carrie showed how to do it on our channel. And this one finishes at 70 inches square. Let me put it in the front so you can like really see the, the block. Can you see the block now? Almost. Sorry, I cannot we go need, any higher. We need Skyler. that's okay. Yeah, he's, he's not here today. I was gonna have him help, but he's not here. And then this is the back. And so you can really see this binding, how it's really thick on the front and the back. And this fabric is crossweave black. 12119-53, I believe. 53 or 52 or 57, one of those. So that is our cake mix quilts. And again, 16 quilts. Uh, you guys seem to love the trunk shows, so we're trying to do more of them. I think it's really good to see. Um, what I like about it is you can see the quilting, and how it looks before you actually sew it. Um, but let me know if you have any questions. Um, some other designers in it are Sherry McConnell, Carla from Sweetwater, me and my sister, Designs, Lisa Bonjean, Sandy Klopp, Ann Sutton, Janet Clare, Brenda Riddle, Kansas Triple Quilter, Susan Aki. So lots of beautiful quilts in here. So coupon 20% off for a week, mix 20, 
let me know what questions you have and then because I did go kind of fast um, I can tell you which cake mixes we did have a couple of questions okay. but we also have a few new members Yay. Paula McLean welcome Paula and then we had in the glow 88 join thank you in the glow and if you guys have any questions about how to access like all your channel membership perks um, I can answer those after the live stream yeah it's in the community tab and yeah. so on each each device is a little bit different and so if she gives an answer now it's not going to apply to everyone so we don't want you to get frustrated so that's yeah why. it might not be universal um and then cat angel 70 is also a new member welcome cat angel yay confetti cannon and then we had two super chats uh, oh. one from loving life today she gave two dollars and 79 cents and thank you super piggy says thank you Oh my god, Piggy's so cute. Look at his little cape. <laughs> and then we had our second super chat from Annette Hyman for a dollar ninety nine and she says thank you for your speedy shipping this week. Oh, well, thank yay. you, Annette. For being an amazing customer. Thank you. Yay. Thank you, everyone. Okay. And let's see, getting to our questions here. Uh okay. Bonnie Scanlon says, which number cake mix was the Coriotor quilt? Okay, so let me figure that out. It is called Candied Yam, and it uses one pack of the cake mix tin, and then you need a print layer cake, and then a solid layer cake, or just some creams. That's what you need, two layer cakes, one print, one solid. So cute, oh, love it. Okay, and then we did actually get a question about the memberships that I think I can answer. Tammy Schmidt was asking, does anyone know where I can find the members free pattern that was posted a few days ago? Saw it on my phone, then went on my computer and couldn't find it. Um, I know a few people were suggesting like, make sure to check out the community tab, um, which we can link to in the chat if you like. But also if you're going from your phone to your computer, make sure you're signed into the same YouTube account on both because that membership is only tied to one YouTube account. I hope that makes sense. Okay, and then uh, Gabriel Fuentes was asking, how is Piggy? He's good. So the funny story of the day is Kevin crashed my car a couple weeks ago. We took it to get it fixed, and they, they fixed, like, the painting because it basically scratched off the paint. There's, like, a piece underneath. I'm not a car person. A piece underneath that needed to be replaced. They took forever to get it, so I got my car. Well, they finally have the piece, so I told them you have to take Piggy because... Piggy is not going to get in Kevin's car because he sheds. So Kevin had to take Piggy to the daycare today. So it was so funny. Um, and then I, I called him to make sure he really did it because, I don't know, I just had to make sure. And he goes, yeah, I told him they could keep him a couple of days, which is, I mean, he's just kidding. But, yes, Piggy's good. Um, yeah, he's he's good. He's still naughty, peeing everywhere. But oh. other than that. And we just got another new YouTube member, Joanna Vasquez. Welcome, Joanna. Yay! Okay, I get really excited, guys. <laughs> uh, and then a uh, funny comment from Judith A. Houghton. She says, it is midnight in Woodend, Queensland, Australia. Not often do I get to stay up and watch. Actually went to sleep for two hours and my internal clock woke me up in time to watch. Happy Yay! lady here. We're happy you're here, Judith. Okay. And then Laura Whitfield was asking, uh, received my perfect five book yesterday. Will the sew along start soon? So excited. October 9th. October 9th. And I'm going to show you my quilt also. So October 9th. So we're on October 4th. So five days. Okay. And Brenda Cole says, just popped in. Where's the pattern for the large churn dash? So everything that I just shown is in this new book. Mix it up. And the book combines... To make it, you need the cake mix recipes or the cupcake mix recipes. Cake mixes are for layer cakes. Cupcakes are for charm packs. They look like this, and they're a product that Moda makes, and they're super awesome. I have all of them. Super awesome. But I love triangle paper. So I wanted to give a big thank you to everyone who has donated to Make-A-Wish. We have we are at like almost $4,000, which is amazing because it doesn't even start till next year. So I'm super excited. We got in some new bags. They're little project bags for, and they say Bloomtopia. So 
We got these in last Friday. I love them. I have eight of them now because I was like, I'm going to buy eight of them before they sell out. Um, and they just go, they could be used for anything. I mean, you could use them for storing blocks, storing notions. You could use them for your kids' stuff. You can use them for anything. Like, I guarantee when Christopher sees these, he's gonna put his wrestlers in it, and I'm not kidding. He has little compartments for wrestlers, so he'll probably put a couple of wrestlers in it and then carry it around with him. So I wanted to show you the quilt again. This starts February 1st of next year, and I made this a couple of months ago. I'll show you the back first. We have quilt kits. We actually ordered the quilt kits yesterday. So I ordered the quilt kits yesterday, and again, we sell a certain number. They're made, and we make them once, and so they come in a keepsake box with some triangle paper, a notion. The backing comes with a mouse pad, and if you get the kit or the backing set, you get the pattern up front. If not, it's free throughout the year. So I'm gonna rotate it. I think this quilt is pretty easy. Um, I would say it took me maybe a week or a week and a half. This is a lot of fun. My favorite, it's my favorite backing of all time. So here's the quilt. This is my favorite block right there. And this block is the, has the half rectangles, which you're going to use your notion that we send with the quilt to make. So I just wanted to show you the quilt one more time. I love it. This is Sweet Summer by Sherry and Chelsea. And we are hoping to raise 50,000 this year for Make-A-Wish. And so we have a link below it all. There's a link below where you can donate to Make-A-Wish and that is all um, just goes directly to Make-A-Wish. We got some questions here. Uh, Kim Pebbly said, did Kimberly say the quilt made by Lori Simpson was made with cupcake? Okay, let's see. Okay, hers is called Picnic. And hers uses cupcake mix for two packs. And it uses 72 print charm packs, three and a half yards background, and then binding and backing. And I like, I like quilts like this or books like this where it's like pre-cut friendly and you just need to get, you don't have to go and go in the store and find like four half yards and two fat quarters and three fat eights. It's just get a layer cake, get a charm pack, get a, you know, it's very easy to buy. So it kind of takes a little bit of the hassle out of trying to put everything together if you're trying to kit something yourself. And Candy Curl is asking, what is the name of the book that members can get 74% off? It is simply Fat Quarters, right? It's Fat Quarter Style. Sorry, Fat Quarter Style. Yeah. So basically, we made one of our older books where it's just $5. So there's a coupon in there, and it's just an older book and um, still a great book. So that's our... Yeah. One of the Perk. perks for this week. Yes. Um, and then we actually do have another new YouTube member, Melanie Call. Welcome, Melanie. Hooray. Thank you. And then, yeah, so we, um, we, we got a new hashtag here that I think we need to start using. Um, Chris E says, my bloom bag is supposed to get here tomorrow. Can't wait. Hashtag Jolly Junkie, LOL. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> You're going to love this bag. Um, uh, it's like the perfect size. And this was the one that I was talking about where Kevin came home and he was like, this bag is so big. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so perfect. <laughs> Because sometimes I work from home and then he has to like bring all the stuff home. I'm sure he loves that. He came home with this box the other day, yesterday, that was like this big. I'm sure he loves that. So um, what I've been doing the last couple of days um, is in the last 24 hours, I made 12 blocks for Designer Mystery 2020. So um, Designer Mystery is something we have been doing, I can't even tell you how long, since I think 2007 or six, I don't even know. It's well over 10 years. And it is a program, we're gonna launch it around Quilt Market, which is in like two weeks. And so it is so cute this year. It's probably my favorite out of all of them. Um, I have several of them in my bedroom because I love them. Um, they, it's just like kind of like something I just love to do every year. So I was able to make all 12 blogs in 24 hours, which is, I can't even believe. And that included taking kids to school, 
taking a kid to the dentist and something else that I did. I can't even remember. So I even had breaks in there. So it's very beginner friendly. It's kind of got a floral theme. It uses Vanessa Gertzen's next collection. The white on white in it is perfect. It is so cute. So this weekend, I am going to be actually starting today. I'm gonna to put the whole quilt together and I'm gonna put the backing together so I can get it quilted and um, it's really cute. But I can't show you, we're photoing it right now and I can't show you because it's market fabric and so I'm not allowed to show you yet. Um, it's obviously a mystery, but I'll always show you like a corner of it or something. So that's been super exciting um, that I've been sewing and getting a lot of stuff done. Even though I don't have anything to show you, I can tell you about it. And it's really, um, really cute. All the blocks are really nice. I did make a little boo-boo on, I, um, I had made, nine blocks and I was going so fast and then I cut the way that I do my blocks is I starch it and then I do three blocks at a time so I cut three put them on three design boards and then I sew all the diagonal lines for all three and put them back on the design board that's kind of how I do it and somehow when I got to the 10th block I sewed on the wrong corner and then when I clipped it off it ruined the piece so I had to wait until Kevin got home from work last night to finish it um but it was probably time for me to take a break, but it was super awesome. So that's what I've been up to. We did get another super chat from Patsy Wheeler for $1.99. Super thank Piggy you. says, thank you. Yay. Uh -huh. And I know you can't hear him, Kimberly, but I think he's barking right now. Piggy. Yeah. He's so cute. And then Mary Buschholz was asking, has the perfect five quilt book shipped? Yes. So um, another thing that I've been working on this week is I filmed a video on our new log cabin paper. It comes in six inch block form and 12 inch block form. And so I filmed a video earlier this week on tips on how to use it and how to make it and all that. We're gonna release it on October 10th. And then next Friday, I'm gonna do a live stream and I'm gonna make the blocks live so you can watch me and how I do it. So I'll show you a couple of blocks. This is a block that uses My Red Work Garden Ooh. by Ann Sutton. Teresa Williams made it, and she hasn't trimmed it down yet, but can you zoom in right here, Lily? So right here, this is this is your edge of your block that is in the, going to be in the seam, and then this is your trim line. So you get a perfect block. You trim it down after you're done and it's gonna go into your block and be a perfect block. So there's this one. And then we have this one, which is Sugar Creek. And Teresa Williams also made this one. And again, she hasn't trimmed it down yet. It's a great way to use up your scraps. It's new paper. We're gonna, so basically we're gonna have two videos on it. We've had so many requests for videos that I thought We'll do one video, we're gonna release it next week before we do the live stream. That way, if there's like the same question over and over, I can address it in the live stream. I think it's a little bit, um, if you've never done paper piecing, it's kind of opposite of what you would normally do because you have to sew on the opposite side. So um, think about any questions you have. Some people use a glue stick to do it. I don't I haven't used pins a lot of people don't like to use pins but it's kind of one of those things where you kind of have to just figure out what works best for you everyone does it different so let's see got that and then Sunday best is a new sew along that Corey Yoder and Sherry McConnell are doing most of you have this book because at one time we had a show and tell of it and it had a coupon and um, my block for this week is here, and I want to let you guys know that I just fixed it because it was, un it was messed up, and one of our viewers told me it was messed up. So at work, I got to work at 8 o'clock, I unripped a section and re-sewed it together right before we started. So I am going to finish up my quilt, but it's a free sew along. All you need is the book, and it's a great way to use up your stash for the white and the gray, I am using 29067, 41, and 33. And I just used an assortment of Cory Yoder fabrics for my stash. 
So that's a lot of fun. And a lot of people are, are sewing along with that, which is really fun. And they're 18 inch blocks, which is nice because they're nice and big and you don't have to make as many blocks. So that's kind of a free sew along. They post every Friday on their blogs. So if you wanna check that out, that's super fun. This is our new Perfect Five book. So it came in last week and we shipped it out Monday, Tuesday. So I'm gonna flip through it. Sorry, I'm gonna, there we go. I'm just gonna kind of flip through it so you can get a feel of the different quilts in there. They use charm pack, so it's a charm pack friendly book and there's a creative grids ruler that makes it super easy to use. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Super cute. I'm a little biased because I designed a lot of these, so I'm a little bit biased. Because obviously if I designed it, I like it. And there's some photos and the back. So it has a retail of $14.95 and this is the ruler that comes with it. Now we do sell a combo pack together. Now on the combo pack, you don't get a discount. And the reason why is Creative Grids has a manufacturer map policy. So I signed it. When you sign a map policy, you cannot change the price. So that is why there is not a discount because that would be against the policy that I signed. And we are going to have a sew along. So for the sew along, all you need are these two things. And the fabric requirements are on our blog. And this quilt is huge. I've shown it a couple times. This one did take me quite a bit of time. So, and it's pretty big. I used Early Bird and I the background print is the white dot from the Early Bird collection. This collection has arrived. We have the yardage, the jolly bar, half yard bundles and one yard bundles. The pre-cuts, have not arrived. So we're hoping they arrive. So you can do this so along with it. This is my backing. I put a label right in the center. It's a Sweetwater label. And I sewed that right in the center and it has my name right there. So that's something that you can be sewing. So there's lots of stuff, lots of, um, Lots of stuff you can sew. Um, we do have uh, another super chat from Jennifer Foster for $1.99. She says, sewing on my fat quarter flowers quilt today. Oh, I love Yay. that quilt. That is so cool. That is so um, cute. I love that quilt. Yeah, and it is a free pattern. And there's a video, shortcut quilt video on how to make the, the yep. quilt. If you and it's super interested. cute. It uses um, triangle paper, but it is so fun. You can really have a lot of fun with colors with that it gives you a little bit of you can be creative I guess you could make it all matchy matchy or not or scrappy all scrappy the big stars in the center you can either make a match or not match I um, mean it'll give you a totally different look and it's one of my favorite free patterns that we have released this year all right and then we also had a new YouTube member Jennifer Hardy join welcome Jennifer all right thank you and Hang on, sorry, getting to my questions here. Um, Sue Cleek was asking on the log cabin paper for the larger size, how many blocks do you get out of one jelly roll, assuming it is used for half the block? I don't know. Let's see. I don't know exactly. I would say the pad has 42 pieces of paper. I would say probably 18 or so. I'm not really, I don't know exactly. I haven't done that calculation yet. Super cute. And next year, you know how I've been doing the patchwork pinwheels. I, um, I'm going to have an update on that soon. I was actually going to work on it this week and then the designer mystery fabric showed up, but I have made a lot of progress on that. And um, my patchwork pinwheels uses H100 triangles on a roll. And next year, and basically I have taken scraps from all of the quilts I make throughout the year. I take them and then make some triangles out of them. Next year, I'm gonna use my scraps and do a log cabin quilt. Okay. And that might look kind of crazy because it's gonna have fabric all over the place. 
whereas the five in the one inch the two inch pinwheels i can kind of scatter so i'm not sure how it's going to look but i'm gonna hope it looks good and from chris e uh is there an eta for the starter kit for Lori's beekeeper quilt yes there is it should be available next week Lori got the SKUs to me two days ago and um, some of them, some of the SKUs we were out of. So we have placed the order from Riley Blake. We asked them to rush the order. They said they would. It is going to be an 18 piece back quarter, all yellows, all Lori Holt fabric. She handpicked the yellows she thought would work. And um, so it will be live the second that fabric arrives to me. And it's gonna be cute. Okay, and Terry Phelps, uh, just a cute comment. She says, we have a pug named Pug. She is 11 months old, and she is such fun. Aww. I love Pug out there. Um, Lalyn Socal says, good morning, ladies. Are the EPP papers included with the pillow kits from Aditya Sitar? So, I believe so, yes. The kits have not arrived yet. Um, we are still waiting on them from Aditya, so when they come, as we load each kit, we are going to be very specific about what is in it the second it arrives. Um, so we will go through all 20 or 25, I think it's 25 kits, all 25 kits and list it very specifically. She said it should be any day, but um, it's been a month. So we're hoping that they arrive soon, but we will be very clear. We will, each kit will be treated differently, I guess, and we will hand write out exactly what comes in it. But I believe it should be in it. And then from Cheryl Howard, what gray are you using to go with Coriotor Sugar Creek in the Sunday Best Sew Along? What did you say? Uh, what gray are what you gray? using to go with? Yeah. I have it right here, 29067, color 41 and color 33. So the gray is one of those colors and the white is the other. I don't know which, but I used um, 29067, 41 and 33. One's gray and one's the background. And Debbie Berry was asking, is there a PDF for the patchwork pinwheels? There is, yay, there is. Yeah, so we can attach it and um, it is looking so good. I just had so much today that I didn't wanna bring it and I'm in the like middle of a block and so that would look really stupid. It would be like, what are you doing? It would look ugly and I didn't wanna like present myself badly. Um, so we also have a free, it's called a motor, it's called a blog remix. So we have some little bags, they're a little sewing machine accessory pouches it's a free tutorial on our blog and this one is by a day in paris and angel made it cute little bag and on the back there's a little pouch that you could put stuff in so there's one this one is sunny side up Catherine hale made it and this is her little pouch And the inside, super, super easy and beginner, and they're so cute. So they're a great way to put notions, or you could use it as a makeup bag. You could use it for anything. So it's a free, a freebie on our blog. So I wanted to show that. And then there's more. Uh, last week, Lily forgot to bring her Eight carat? Yes. So here it is. Yay. Yay! Look how pretty it is. So Yay. this is her eight carat. She used ombre blooms, right? Yeah, ombre bloom. By Vanessa B and Co. And it's so pretty. Yay, thank you. She's a beginner. And so this is a free sew along that uses the triangles on a roll book and four inch and three inch triangles on a roll. So that's fun, right? But then, okay, I'm gonna put it right here so you can see it next to each other. But then, okay, can we leave it there? Okay, that looks funny, but okay. She's putting this on the back. This is so Lily. It's a, it's a sparkly cuddle. Yeah, so it's got like glitter. It's got like silver specks. Yeah. And that is gonna look so good on the back of that. Look at that. It's so Lily. When I, when I saw it, I was like, are you gonna try that on your home machine? Because. <laughs> Nope. I think so, you should send that to a long armor. Sending culture. it to a long armor. Um, yeah, that would be my recommendation. Anytime you're ever using that Shannon cuddle stuff or minky or whatever, ooh, don't do it on your home machine unless you're really brave. 
Yeah, also for anyone wondering out there, I thought the sparkly cuddle, like, that it would be, like, itchy because of the sparkles, oh, no, and it's, it's like, super soft. Like, it's, like, the sparkles, like, you can't feel them. It's amazing. Yeah, let me... It's oh. like you can't even like, like you don't even feel it. And then like it goes dark, it goes like kind of darker and then lighter. Does that make sense? You can't really see it, but, and then the back is just plain. Yeah, it's super soft and amazing. Denise says she's falling in love with it. Yeah, it's so Lily though. This is like, <laughs> I could see her wearing pants out of this. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Those would be see? the comfiest pants see? ever. See, I could dress her. <gasps> yes. Okay, real quick, we do have another super chat from Nadira McAllister for $5. Thank you so much, Nadira. Thank you. I was thinking I would bring Piggy sometime for the, I haven't brought him in a while for the live stream. We the, were thinking the same. But the problem is there has to be a dog person in the room to watch him because he will pee on everything and he will not just sit here so uh, but I do think I'm gonna bring him we're just gonna have to some have somebody that's gonna it's like having a kid that you have to babysit so uh, but yeah okay. I'll put him right here I'll put him on a little towel and tell him sit down he doesn't listen though um, and we have a new YouTube member as well Tracy McKinley welcome Tracy yay um, and I see a few people asking about uh, channel memberships and stuff. I'm going to go over how to become a channel member at the end of the live stream. So Ocean Waves is a brand new block pattern that we have that's free. And I think, I don't know who made the pillow. I think Nova made it, but I could be wrong. Maybe Terry made it. So this is a free pattern. We have a low price pattern on how you can turn it into a quilt and I'm gonna show you that. So what we do is we have step outs when we make videos because you have to have it all stepped out or else we would be in here for hours. So we sometimes turn the step outs into a pillow. So there's that. So this is a free block pattern designed by Jocelyn Ung. It is called Ocean Waves. The fabric is Northport Prints by Minnick and Simpson. Terry made it and Mike quilted it. Mike's website is longarm, mylongarm.net. And I'm just gonna kind of rotate. And this is, we have this as a kit also. So this is the backing also. So we have a kit and a backing set, low price pattern, and a block pattern. The block pattern is free. So that's something new. So pretty. And we use triangle paper to make it, of course. And then we have another quilt. This is Hatchlings. This is early bird fabric. So like I said, the yardage has arrived. The pre-cuts have not. This is Bonnie and Camille fabric. This is a Jolly Bar kit. Crystal designed it, Angel sewed it, and Mike quilted it. So that's a new kit, and then this is the backing. It's got little birds. You wanna zoom in? It's so cute. Look at that, the little birdies. And then when you zoom back out, this is, these blocks were designed by Bonnie and Camille and look how that matches. I just noticed it in the screen. And this is how your kit would come packaged. It has the Jolly Bar and on the back, every Jolly Bar comes with a free pattern. So the pattern is on the back. We also have a new pattern that we released this week. It's called Oh My Gourd. It is a very low price pattern, but we thought pumpkins are so popular. So I want to give credit to who designed it, and I'm not seeing that. So let me show you two different versions we did. So cute. So this one is the So Colorful September bundle. So if you're in that club, you can make it out of this bundle. Jocelyn designed it. Lily made it. Ooh. Sorry, Lily made it, and then Gina quilted it, and Gina is thread graffiti and you can find her in Kimberly Stitch Squad on Facebook or you can just Google thread graffiti and I'll show you the back 
This is the back. I know, it looks so good. So I'll show you the bundle. This is the bundle that she made it with. So you can be creative with where you put the fabric. You will have some leftover fabric, but it gives you creativity to put the fabric wherever you want. So that is so cute. I didn't even know Lily made it. I saw it, I should have known. This is another version if you just wanted to do something different. This is Wallflower Boutique fabric by Riley Blake. The, the fabric designer is Heather Peterson. Jocelyn designed this, Nova made it, and again, Gina quilted it, and Gina is with the Thread Graffiti. This is the backing. And we use Kona Eucalyptus as the background which looks really nice. This green looks really nice with it. So we just wanted to have like a free, not a free, but a low price pattern for Halloween. It's only $5.98. And then also Moda has put together on their blog each month, they're coming out with basics that go with that month. And we thought this would be really fun in that pattern and have some purple pumpkins. There's some oranges, some purples, blacks, gray. So this is brand new, but I thought that would look really cool in the pumpkin. Actually, Denise gave me that idea, so that's Denise's idea. And then this is, I'm not a farm girl. Y'all know that, but this is so cute. So I wanted to show this. This is the 2020 calendar. It is a towel. It's, the designer is Ginger Burr, and it's got this, so if you wanna hook it, you know, hook it in your kitchen somewhere. But I really like it. I'm gonna take this one home. I'm not a farm girl again. But I mean, really, it's cute. So I just wanted to show y'all, it's really cute. The little sheep, it's so cute. And then um, I will tell y'all what happens to my, I'm gonna tell you what happens to my, I have a ton of these. This is the kind of towel that I like in my kitchen. I don't like the thick ones, I like the really thin ones. So I'm in the Sweetwater Towel Club. And I get that every month and then I take a lot of the Moda and a lot of the Riley Blake ones home. My kids ruin them. They're all brown and stained and disgusting. And I'm like, oh, but I just like, so that's why I just like, I feel good when I get a new one. Cause I'm like, I have one that's decent, but they get so gross that I just, they don't last long. Like they'll just spill stuff. And instead of getting a paper towel, they'll just like, they spill milk and um, what do you call that orange juice all the time because they don't want you to touch their stuff like you can't for god's sake you cannot pour the drink for them or they're going to have a meltdown because they all have to be independent okay great they spill it everywhere and instead of getting a paper towel they just slap it down i'm like oh my gosh you're gonna ruin something else but whatever so i just take them home so i can feel good that they ruin everything in my house <laughs> So that's what I have today, lots of new stuff. Now this weekend, I'm gonna be finishing the 2020 Designer Mystery. I will show that the week of Quilt Market or the week after, one of those two. And um, it's really cute. I'm also going to be, after I'm done with that, I'm gonna take all of my spool blocks from the So Colorful and put them into a quilt. And then I'm going to also, this is all not this week though, I'm gonna tell you, this is on my list. Sunday Best, I'm gonna finish that up. I have not picked my backing yet, so that is one thing that I have to figure out. And also I'm gonna go back to the Harry Potter blocks. There are some new blocks that she released. I think she released some more, I don't remember. Um, we're not doing a kit especially for those, but there are new blocks. I've gotta finish that up. And I have to get caught up on Lori Holt's sew along. So I have a ton of sewing stuff going on and I just uh, work on stuff as I can. I'm hoping to get the finished, if I get my, my designer mystery finished by Saturday, then I'll have some sewing time on Sunday. Okay, let's see. First of all, um, did I shout out the new YouTube member, Lisa Sylvester? I don't remember if I did, so Lisa, welcome. Hooray, welcome Lisa. And then Linda Gordon had a super chat for us for $4.99, and she says, I have come to look forward to and plan around these Friday morning lives. Thank you. Thank you. I, I was thinking about it on the way to taking the kids to school today, and I thought, it's so awesome that, like, people want to watch me. Like, I'm honored. Like, I can't even believe that people even are interested. Like, to me, I'm like, I'm just like, what? How did this happen? How did this 
I don't I don't know where this all how this all so so I try to work hard I try to be creative I try to do all the things so that you'll keep watching me um because I love it um I do wish I could show you the designer mystery but then I would get in trouble nope that's top secret um Cheryl Howard says when you use cuddle on the back do you use batting with it that is up to to you but what are you doing Lily I, I am gonna use batting in it yeah so, you can, um, and you can't. I yeah. think it's totally. Some people do, some people don't. I probably would too. Yeah. I like batting. Yeah. Um, I think it makes it feel a, more like a normal quilt if you put batting in it, and then the other way, I feel like it's a little more like a blanket, so you can decide. Oh yeah, there you go. The feel you want. Look um, at Lily. She's like she could just come and do the show. <laughs> no, no, I don't use I don't yet. use making that much. Um, I use it about once a year, so I don't know that much about it. Oh, we're getting lots of love in the comments just from people saying they love watching the live streams. Oh, thank uh, so you. thank you guys. Also, uh, I wanted to personally thank everyone who was saying my quilts look nice. I really appreciate that. Thank you all so much. I know, and she's like a beginner. Like I, I she's beginner. been working for me for like a year and a half, and like she didn't know a thing about quilting, and so it's true. So she's got it. She's doing stuff. Uh, and let's see, Terry Lane had a funny comment. She says, I like to pretend that I'm the Terry that made such lovely quilts. And then she put the laughing faces. That's funny. And then um, the academic stitcher says, what size triangle paper on the Ocean Waves quilt? We're going to uh, look it we're up. We're going to look. I could, yeah, it's in the stack. Of, we'll look. I don't remember. Yes, we'll have an answer in a sec. I feel bad. Like, I filmed so many videos that I can't remember... Lily will say stuff like, oh, you already did that. I'm like, I did. Like, I cannot keep track. I think I, to what? H250. H250. So two and a half inch finished. H250. Triangles on a row. I could just, yeah, try to guess. It's right here. Um, so then Chris E was asking, would a jelly roll work for ocean waves? It's two and a half. No. Finished mm -mm. now. Oh, you're right. No, because you need the first cut to be th three something, so no. Um, Sherry Gingham says, any news on the Lori Holt canvas fabric? So uh, we can look on the Coming Soon page. Uh, I don't remember what ship date it is, but I can tell you that it feels really nice and it's very soft for being a canvas. It is her home deck weight fabric. I don't remember off the top of my head the date of it. Um, I know it hasn't shipped to us yet because I look at every invoice that ships, um, but we'll look real quick and see what date that is. It's expected to come the end of this month, I think. So October, November? Mm -hmm. Okay. And... Okay, Nancy Boylan um, says, it's all your energy. We are hoping it rubs off, LOL, in response to you saying. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, that I do. I really have a lot of energy. Like, I was still sewing at 10 o'clock last night. I was like, I hope I can keep this going because I love to start and stop a project. Like, I love the backing and the binding so much that I'm like, like, I just want to get it done because I want to see how pretty it is. Um, and so I like last night was like figuring out because I do my borders. I do everything length of fabric. I don't write all my patterns that way because it is not easy for a beginner to do that. Um, but I just don't like to have a seam in my border and it saves me time. And I'm all about in my life, whatever I can do to save time. Um, so I was like measuring, you know, how much do I need to starch and all that. I will tell you a funny story. One of my funny stories is my nanny came and, um, because I worked from home yesterday, I was doing laundry because like, why else, why not? I mean, I'm home. So I was like running laundry and she came in and she was like, Kim, did you or Emma do the laundry? Because in the laundry is a cup and a baseball. So I basically put Christopher's pants in and it had the, pe the cup you put and the belt, I washed it. And I was like, oh, I did. She's like, well, you can't do that. I'm like, well, you know, if I do laundry, that's what you're gonna get. Like. I don't do, I'm not a good homemaker. I never said I was a homemaker, but that's exactly why I should not be doing laundry. But it was funny. She was really, I think she was mad, but I was just like, that's the way I, do. I just throw stuff in. <laughs> but I thought, well, it'll save me time Sunday because on Sunday I do laundry, but Sunday Emma has photo shoot, dance, and then Christopher has baseball. So I'm like, I'm not gonna have as much time on Sunday to do laundry. So I was trying to get ahead and I shouldn't have. 
Let's see. Um, Jennifer Daniel Johnson said, "Is the nanny is the nanny Piggy's nanny too?" Yeah, she has to pick him up every day Aww. from daycare, and um, yes, she does, and she loves him. He loves her. Um, yes. Okay. And Paul Healy says, "Are you going to get any more Granny's Garden quilts in?" Yes, we're waiting. It should be the end of this month. We're waiting. We have everything in stock except eighty five ten multi. So the second that arrives, we will have it online. Okay. And Wilma Evans was asking, with the charm packs, do you starch them? Um, you're not supposed to, but I sometimes do. I wanted to also give a big thank you to uh, Jill Stansley. No, Jill Stansel. She donated a quilt for Make-A-Wish, and it sold to Bonnie Ward for $7.25. So we have added that it's going to be part of our Make-A-Wish. So I wanted to give a big... Thank you to her. And then we can do shout outs. Yes. And okay. I have notes for. Yes, let's see. I've got eight carrot cult shout outs, block eight shout outs, and some cute things we picked out from Perfect. Stick Squad. So this is eight carrot. So I have really bad vision and I cannot read that. So I'm going to let Lily read and then I'm going to give my commentary. Uh, that's Grandmommy4. They say one project finally finished. Hashtag eight carat quilt along. That is beautiful. I would love to know what fabric collection that is. It looks like it's Riley Blake, but that is perfect for fall. That is so pretty. I love the backing too. Oh, she has two fabrics. Okay, this is Irene Miller Lear. <laughs> Uh, she says, I honestly don't know how I managed to complete this in the same time, in the time frame I did. Um, hashtag a carrot quilt. Sorry, the, the text is pretty small for me too, guys. Um, she said, I'm so happy the way it turned out with these wonderful hashtag triangles on a roll are the best thing, are the best thing yet. I might just have to make another. I love it. And I love those little black, they're like little black bows in the corners. So cute. Oh, that's Riley Blake. That's cute. Yeah, that's from Joy Dixon Quilts. Uh, eight carat quilts, long top finish. Love this pattern so much. So pretty, fast and easy. Thank you, Fat Quarter Shop, and it's so Emma. Thank you. And then from Tammy Taraski Schmidt, finished my eight carat quilt top. So excited to see it when it's back from the quilter. I love it. And so what she did, if you look at hers, she's got it very planned out. So she's got dark medium, dark, light, and then she's got some medium in the center, some light in the center. So she, hers is more planned instead of scrappy. So that's that's awesome. And it gives it a totally, if you look at that quilt, it looks totally different than probably the next one you're gonna see. And that, that shows you how you can really play with your fabric to get um, a different look. Mm -hmm. Let's see, this is from a mead 87 I believe I apologize if I got that wrong this came together so fast started cutting fabric on Friday hashtag triangles on a roller so helpful and quick can't wait to use them for another project use mr. domestics love to pieces collection oh that fabric is really cute and then she has it planned center and scrappy outside it looks like so looks awesome I love that gray too that's probably a pure elements mm -hmm. <gasps> D Lake 71 so this happened. Joined the eight carat quilt along and finished the top on week one using my stash. Had so much fun. Thank you, Fat Quarter Shop. And I love that she used her stash because that's what I was trying to express is that when we have sew along, she, I don't want you to feel like you have to go buy something. You can just pull from your stash. And that is so cute for autumn. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, and this is from Elaine21. Finished my eight carat quilt top today and I'm really pleased with it. It's really pretty. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're back to the beginning on that. And then these are block eight from the Ultimate Beginner Quilt series. Uh, a little patchwork, eighth block for my Ultimate Beginner Quilt. This is one of my favorite blocks and the larger center score is a perfect way to use bigger prints without losing any features. That's perfect, she fussy cut that, that's yeah. cute. I love how Christmassy it is. This is from Angela Valerio Stoutenberg. Block eight is done. The block came together quick. Of course, I had to make pinwheel blocks from the trimmings. Oh, that's cute. Yes. Love the saw two star. I can't believe only one more block to go. Yes. And so basically when she cut off her flying geese on the back, she just sewed a quarter inch away and pressed open and probably trimmed down. That's awesome. 
Oh, it says, thank you, Kevin Jolly, for suggesting the beginner quilt series to Kimberly. I have been, oh, Kevin gets a shout out. Ooh, go Kevin. That's hilarious. I can see his name from over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, from Bobby Bean, uh, Naley. Block eight finished off the ultimate beginner quilt. Now I just have to finish my eight carat quilt. Awesome. I love the stripes. Check fabric, yeah, yes. the stripes. <gasps> Cute. That's Cinti quilts. Cynthia quilts. Uh, block eight, and then several emojis. There's a little clown emoji in there too. That's cute. That's super cute. It's like circus. Yeah. Okay. This is Donna M. K. Carter, I believe. Had to play catch up today and a very successful day, I think. Learned the importance of pressing correctly the hard way. Yeah, and I think that might be a mix of uh, Mr. Domestic Fabric and Moda. Mm -hmm. I think it's a mix. That looks really cool. Okay, from Emma A. Grams, block eight, corrected. Oh, so she probably had to move something, but you know, I had to do that this morning. It stinks. Okay. I'm just glad somebody told me my block was right wrong before <laughs> I sewed it in my quilt. Yes, we appreciate that. Uh, Ina Hennigan, in the home stretch now with block eight, complete. Ultimate beginner quilt, sponsored by Fat Quarter Shop. A challenging block for sure. Love seeing everyone's choice in fabrics and variations layout so totally changed the look of the blog for me that's what makes quilting such an individual expression so much fun thank you Kimberly Jolly that looks so cool okay. um, from Jackie Chriswell Miller block seven and eight playing catch up super cute she's got some batiks and so next week is going to be block nine, and that's going to be the last block. The last and then we block. are going to have finishing videos and binding videos. Yeah. So block the video for block nine came out. Oh. Yesterday. Sorry. So next week we will be shouting out block nine. Yes. Um, Janice, uh, it's either I E or L E. Uh, block eight needs a better pressing, but my iron is out of water. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that's cute. That's some ginghams and maybe some 1930s prints. And Janice Platt Elder says, I finished block A of the Ultimate Beginner Quilt series last week, but went out of town and didn't get to post pics until now. Did get the rest of my fabric I need for sashing border binding. Can't wait to pull it all together. Awesome. I love her fabric placement. It makes it look totally different because she's got the flying geese background and your points the same. Mm -hmm. Let's see from Judy Belushi Award, block A, gearing up to tackle Block one of the Sunday Sampler Quilt. Awesome. Ooh. Let's see. Karen Grunge. Estefani. Yes, Grunge. Block eight, hashtag Ultimate Beginner Quilt. So those are Grunge dots. Oh. I like her little, like, flower thing she set next to it. Her, her decor. Picture. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> K.M. Gabrielle. And just like that, I'm caught up on block eight of the Ultimate Beginner Quilt series. The block was so much fun. Love the center square was big enough to fussy cut all the little critters into. Oh, that's super cute. I know. I wonder what fabric that is. That's super cute. Okay. Life with a pinch of salt. All caught up on the ultimate beginner quilt. One more block to go. Uh, and that rug, I have that exact rug in my office, so that's fun. Oh, we do. That's we fun. We do. I and feel like we really like that print around here. Yeah, I have it on chairs, everywhere. Mm -hmm. And that looks like Pure Elements fabrics. Mm -hmm. Okay, from Monica Patterson, here's my scrappy block eight. This one was easy to even the flying geese. Oh, yay. yay. Okay. Tula. Here, Thomas. Yeah, she used Tula Pink. First time starching. Block eight done. Making a few extra blocks. Thanks for all the tips, Kimberly. How did I not know about setting a seam? Yay. Oh, that's so cool. Priscilla Blaine. Uh, week eight, Ultimate Beginner Quilts. Love these blocks. They were my favorite of the whole series and they were pretty easy. Link an Instagram profile. I love how she put her, um, like the fall on top of it all. The and cross the stitch, crochet. Yeah. She's got all the crafts in there. Oh, She's yeah. got cross stitch, quilting, and crochet wow. all in one. Okay. She helps me sew, says, finally got around to block eight. Love how it turned out. My points aren't perfect, but that's okay. My they sewing look room, good to me. Right? She says, my sewing room was a mess while I transitioned to a new cutting island, so I'm just happy to have the block finished. 
watch the uh, the video on YouTube. Yes, please watch the video on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> and then Sony A Pilgrim, Block Eight, Sawtooth Star. At and I think that's shop. from our kit, right? Yeah, I believe those are our kit colors. Yeah. I didn't look at the quilt. <laughs> and then Tracy sews Block Eight, Sawtooth Star. Love making this block. Nested seams and pinning are and cutting are getting easier. Yay! That's Yay. the goal with the series. Yes. Yeah, okay, we're back, back to, to the, the beginning. beginning. Okay. Yay, and so then, let me answer some questions, and then I have one more small little thing. Yes, okay. Well, I did have, like, an album of just things we pulled from social oh, media that we wanted okay. to shout out. I don't know if you want to look at that right now. Okay. Okay, I love this. This is Chris Vine, and I met her at Festival of Quilts. And so she got a little rack, that little white rack is from ikea and then she used jumbo wonder clips and put them on the ends of triangles on a roll and then she has these same see this right here those are the same blocks she has in there so that's awesome so she's like getting a little kimberly room together she's super fun oh my gosh and i picked this one because i love that cat okay i'm scared of cats but that cat oh my gosh that is the cutest picture i have ever seen it's faith more. I can't read the middle yeah, name because I'm Larson too far Moore. away. But oh my gosh, look at the kitty! She said, "My own personal quality control manager." So funny. QC, I love it. Oh yeah, and this one's super fun. So I can't read all that, but um, what she did is she made a uh, little rack and us uh, hanging it in her sewing room, and it holds like her little rulers and rotary cutter. is super cute. Oh my gosh, this one is so funny. Okay, so this is Paula Heather, and this is so funny. Re I can't read it because I'm so far away, but I thought this was so funny. So read it to me, Lily, because I can't read. Oh, okay. No, it's funny. She, it says, Alexa, finish this quilt, and then call all my friends and tell them I did it. <laughs> so funny. That's hilarious. I don't have Alexa, but that's funny. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and then this is the lady. Isn't the lady who was adopting the dog last week? Yeah. So she was adopting a dog, and this is her dog. And then she was asking us for dog names. And then when I went to comment, she had turned the commenting off because I think she had named the dog. Oh. So we'll have to figure out what the name is. Yes, I believe this is Melissa Clinton. So Melissa, if you're in the chat, let us know yeah, what, what the doggy's named, name is, what the her. baby's oh name is. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, so those are the shout outs I have. Yay! Okay, let's see questions um okay marlene peterson says would a jelly roll work for the log cabin blocks and papers yes it will work for either size also mm -hmm. you would have more than enough for the for the you only need one and a half inch strips for the six inch but i mean it still works mm -hmm. i say use whatever scraps you have mm -hmm. okay. and tracy holly says i have watched you for several years did you ever think your tutorials would lead to what you do now no <laughs> no no, because I'm silly. Like, I say things I shouldn't say. Like, I am funny, and I just think it's weird that people think. I mean, I don't know. Okay. And then Teresa said, I know the beginner quilt series was a lot of time and effort to film, but I hope you consider doing this type of thing again. It was amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. We appreciate that. Um, and th thanks for the feedback. Like, if you guys see anything on our channel that you love or anything that we're doing here that you love, like, let us know. Like, feedback helps so much. Uh, Vicki Robles says, Kimberly, where do you order those blocks on the wall from? Okay, so Kate's going to have to answer. What is the name of it? RedRainBootsHandmade.com. There you go. I can never remember. Um, so I have them in my house, and so we, we got some for the set. And Camille from Bonnie and Camille, there's some of her blocks from her quilts, and then um, a lady and her husband make them. I think the lady, I think the husband cuts the wood out, and then the, the lady paints it, and I wish I knew their names, but off the top of my head, I can't think of their names, but I love the product. Uh, yeah, they're super cool, and they are linked below. Um, if you look in the, like, the show more on YouTube under the description, um, there's a link that says, like, item seen on set, like, it's listed in there. Um, okay, Beverly Browning said, I watch your live stream every week and enjoy it so much. You are so real. Have such good banter with Lily. Curious to know, what does Lily look like hiding behind that camera? Come oh, out. Well, okay. And if I'm going out there, I'm going to answer, how do you become a channel number? Okay, good. I'm going to step aside then. Oh, no. You sit down. <sighs> okay. Hey, guys. I'm Lily. I'm glad I wore makeup today. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so how you become a channel member. There, I should have brought my phone. It's easier seeing it on a phone. Uh, no, I'll, I'll be fine. Okay, so there's, if you're watching on YouTube on an Android phone or on your desktop, there should be a little button that says join right next to like the subscribe button. Like you'll see subscribe, make sure to hit subscribe, first of all, and then hit the join button. And once you hit that, it tells you like what all the perks of becoming a channel member are. You get like um, emojis that if you're on YouTube right now, you're seeing on the live chat. Um, you get behind the scenes, like exclusive little live stream things with uh, me and Kimberly. There's like a whole Q&A we did um, with people asking me a bunch of questions. Um, and we've done that with Kimberly as well. We might do some with maybe more of the staff that are brave enough to do it in the future. Um, and then like this week, for example, we had like a free pattern go out, huge pattern. It's a block of the month. It's going to be available for like two weeks. So this is a good time to join to get that like lots of block patterns in that one little pattern. Um, and then we also had a coupon. Um, I would say that's the thing we do most. We get uh, lots of coupons for the store. Um, right now it is 74% um, off of Fat Quarter style. Yeah, it get, it, it's 74% because it makes the book $5. But yeah, so we try to give you guys perks like every two weeks at the very least. This week we gave two perks because we had so many new YouTube channel members join in the past week. Um, and what basically the membership does for us, um, like you're not missing anything if you don't join the membership. Like we will always, always release free tutorials, do these live streams, like all of our usual content will always be free. This is just like an extra thing to give you guys um, in return for you guys paying $4.99 a month to YouTube that helps us buy like equipment for filming. Um, like these live streams wouldn't be possible without you guys is funding it. So it's like a Patreon if you guys know what that is. Um, and then Super Chat, um, I had to look this up the other day because someone was asking me about Super Chat. It's if you're on your phone and it's like vertical like this and you're in the chat, there's a little like tiny dollar sign on the right bottom hand if you click that that's what super chat is uh it's like a virtual tip jar same idea all the money that comes from that um goes towards helping us fund all video and filming things and then last thing i want to say about channel memberships is that if you are on an iphone or on an ipad um the join button may or may not be there i know it's been a thing with iphones that they're trying to slowly roll it out it's like an apple thing not a youtube thing where they're not letting that button appear um so we've been trying to work with YouTube on that to get that for you guys. But we do have a link that I can send you guys after the live stream to join if you are on an Apple product. Yes. So I'm Lily. Hi. Kimberly will hi. return. Who says hi? Everybody. Oh, hello. Bye bye. They said hashtag Lily Oh, I didn't see this. So I'll answer any questions and then I have a little thing I put at the end, but I put it at the very end so that um, if you're like not interested in it, you don't have to watch it. You can just like click close the thing or whatever. Okay. It's just like I get a lot of emails or a lot of calls to customer service about these things. So I just put it at the end for the people who are interested. If you're not interested, just, just don't close it. Just listen to me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we do have a few new YouTube channel members. Um, Thank you. Yeah, let me find the confetti can in here. Okay, EJ Gillum. Welcome, EJ. Yay. Oh, and thanks for everyone who says they like my outfit and my voice. She I always has that. on a different outfit. She doesn't ever, I don't know, she like has like a big closet. Cause she doesn't never wear the same thing. I, I do have a big closet. My boyfriend judges me for it. Because um, <laughs> she doesn't ever wear the same thing ever. Well, it, like 99% of it's thrifted. Like this dress was thrifted. So like reduce, reuse, right? Um, D and Hofer is a new member. Welcome, D. And then we had a super chat from Debbie Chips for a um, dollar ninety nine. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, Yay. was it for five dollars? I'm not sure. It's showing both on my screen. So thank you. Thank you for the donation. Much appreciated. Yay. Okay. And then other new YouTube channel members are Lori McFarland. Welcome, Lori. Yay. And Pat Gia Command. I hope I said that right. Welcome, Pat. Yay. And then Trish Smith. Welcome, Trish. Thank you. Yay. Okay. So I got Denise to sneak to my office. So this is your little peek at Designer Mystery. Because <gasps> the photos are done. So these blocks were all made in 24 hours. So this is my little peek. I'm not supposed to show you, but... 
How could I not show you? It's a so there you go. There's your peak. Yes, everyone. I gotta sew it into a, a quilt somehow. Starting in about an hour. Gotta drive home. Okay, and then I've got your top five. Okay, yeah. So let me see what my top five is this week. So this five, I um. These are my top five podcasts that are in a series. One actually isn't in a series, but um, but I put it in there anyway. So Culpable is a new podcast. I don't love the creators of the podcast. I'm going to say that up front. But it is about Christian Andriocchio, who um, it could be a suicide. It could be a homicide. And the family's just trying to get answers. And I really like it. Number two is Bardstown. It is a new, very new podcast, and it's done really well. It is about Crystal, Roger, Crystal Rogers, her father, and um, just the town Bardstown and how it's corrupt and how there are five murders in like three years and if they're connected or if they're not. It's really good. Up and Vanished um, was the very first series that I ever watched. I think it is controversial, but I think what Payne Lindsay did is really good because he got it solved whether people think he did or didn't i mean i think he's arrogant and i don't think he's like the best person in the whole world but um he's doing stuff that other people aren't pretend is okay it's yeah it's spelled different but basically it's javier leva he is a journalist you know sometimes these podcasters they're not journalists and so they're not as ethical but he's a journalist and it is about people who are pretending to be somebody else so even though it's not a series sometimes he puts on there a couple together that um so it kind of could be but i just really like him and then the shrink next door is new and it's about a shrink his name was like isaac hirschkoff and how he like manipulated somebody so those are my podcasts that i like you know they're longer you have to listen to more than one episode to follow the story but they're ones that I like. I mean, there's none that are perfect. So, you know, you're going to hear things. You know, some of those, they have things that I don't like. But overall, I like them. So. Okay. So, we just got a super chat from Leany22 for $10. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Leany. And uh, I'll show you afterwards, Kimberly. But she put a little, uh, they call them super stickers. And it's this little, like, oh. hair looking thing that's, like, jumping up and down. And it says number one fan. Oh, it's thank you. Cute. Um, and then another super chat from Deborah Hunter for $1.99. She says, love the show. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah. We love you and everyone else who's watching. Thank you so much, you guys. Piggy. He's so cute. <laughs> Yay. There he goes. Okay. Let me see if there's any last questions here. Okay. Do you see anything else? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so guys, have a great weekend. I'm going to have a busy weekend. Um, we have the school carnival that Kevin thought that we need to sign up. We have three kids. And so, like, I don't think we need to sign up for all three classes, right? But he did. And not just once. So we, like, have, we're, like, signed up for, like, six booths. And then my best friend's having a party tomorrow. We're going to go. It's like a family party. All the kids are going to go. And then Sunday I have a ton of stuff. But um, I'm going to still bring you... Lots of quilts next week. Y'all have a great weekend. Sew as much as you can and um, just have a great weekend. Real quick, new YouTube member, Sherry Hampton. Welcome, Sherry. Yay. And also, to be clear, um, I see a little bit of confusion in the comments. Uh, we do not have a podcast. These were just podcasts that oh. Kimberly recommends listening yeah, to. Yeah, I would love to do a podcast. I have a very unique podcast idea. I think it would be amazing. But, like, I can't do all the things. I think I can do all the things, but I um, I don't know what hour of the day I would put them in, but I mean, I'm not going to put it past me because my idea is great and nobody out there is doing it, but it has got nothing to do with quilting. It's more of like a psychology because I somehow think I can read people. It's kind of just about people and effects of things in their life and da 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 I don't have a podcast. Maybe one day I will, but there's no way I could put the company name on it because it's not really um, about quilting. But anyway, there you go. Sorry. Last YouTube member here, <laughs> Carla Porter. Welcome, Carla. Sorry. Okay. And we will see you guys next, next week. week. Yay. Bye.